Well, we finished them that field yesterday. <clears throat> I want to yeah. go get those tractors and uh, move them over here to this new field that we just bought. Okay. And, uh, okay. Get that ground worked. You drive. All right. Uh, yeah, I can drive. Let me grab my coffee from the kitchen real quick. Oh, that's the bedroom. I guess I left it in the bedroom. Okay. Uh, sometimes I do weird things. I'm heading over to the pickup. Okay. I'm right behind you. The, I guess we can leave the fuel barrel hooked up. Mm. At some time, we need to unhook Yeah, we're going to need at some point, so. Yeah. At some point, we need to unhook that planter off my truck. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, that won't be too hard. We can do that. Any? Do you need your truck yet? Probably not. No, We're going to go get right your now. tractors. Ooh, it does sound good when it starts up. <laughs> does, doesn't it? does. But I notice I need to get an adjustable hitch on my, uh, yeah, you're, on my yep. trailer there. You notice that? Yep, it's not pulling level. No. I don't yeah. think I can do anything to fix that either. It's just going to have to be until I get an adjustable one, but yep, that's fine. We're going to get down to where we left the tractors and bring those over to the other field we bought in the last episode. We have $103,000. Shall we go, go ahead, ahead and tell uh, our young farmers why we don't want that trailer riding on that truck like that? <laughs> go ahead. Because it'll wear out the bearings and the tires will wear funny. Ooh, hey. You all right? <laughs> uh, nice. Yep. I was I was looking at the trailer. And it also makes the weight distribution a little A little catch. funny. It puts it all to the <laughs> back. It's liquid. Yeah. It all goes to the back. Makes you pop wheelies in the back end anyway. Throws you all over the highway. Uh, yeah, it's done that a couple times. Well, so far so good on the, on the farming deal here. We're... Uh, Ahead of the game, I think, with the equipment we've got bought. I'd say so. We're doing pretty good so far. We've got everything but a combine, and I'm sure we could try to sort out a combine. We could keep our eye open, but well, before maybe we, there's... Before we Go look ahead. for a combine, I'd like to price some seed and uh, okay, yeah. liquid nitrogen. Right. Yeah, that's that's true, because our fields were not uh, not sitting pretty. No, they weren't. In fact, you just made me realize I didn't buy the soil data back. I'll have to do that real quick. Ah, yeah. Of course, we That's already okay. know, but we do have yeah. we do have tests that other field too. You know, we'll just run liquid nitrogen on it as well. Anyway. Yeah, you don't want to test it to see what it's running. Maybe next year. Yeah, next year's fine. Okay, That's fine by me. Let's. Uh, Sometimes you just gotta wing it. Let's pull into the uh, fields down here and get our tractors. I guess I have chose this way. You know what? Let me go ahead and just cut across right here and then cut in. Yeah, otherwise you will have to walk across railroad tracks. Don't fancy that. No. But all this field over here did till up really nice. It's ready to uh, be planted or whenever that time comes around. Yep. Still needs that fertilization, of course. But we got that whole other field to work on. Which tractor do you want? I'm going to take my 8110. Okay. I'm going to hop in the old 7030, wasn't it? No, 7430 and get rolling. Who's going to go first? Me? You? Go ahead. <laughs> I'll go. All right. I'll meet you down there. Actually, right. your tractor might be faster than my tractor. I don't know. Which way are you going out? Where we came I'm in? I'm trying to decide that. We can either go back on the highway south or we can just go up here to the left and take this highway to the next gravel and follow that south. Which one? Let's do that because we need to get to know this country here. Okay. We're going to hang a left then, and we'll figure out what's down this way. I do like these tractors quite a lot. And if you guys want to see his tractor, then you can check out his POV, the Papa Pickle, on YouTube. Link in the description down below. By the time we're recording this, he posted his first ever farm sim video, and it's doing really well. So hopefully you guys continue to enjoy him. I like bringing them to you. You enjoying farm sim so far? Yeah. Yeah, I figured you would. Especially today because it's cold outside. Yeah. If you had to, maybe you don't have enough time in it to really get an idea, but if you had to pick between ATS or farm sim, which do you give the edge to? Which one do you like a little better? Oh, well, right now, I'm, I'm liking this farm sim. Yeah. I do like the trucking. 
I mean, it's kind of a toss-up for me. Right. Right now. I, I like them both. I think they're both really fun for their different reasons, to be honest. Yeah. Okay, so I believe this is the another small, tiny little town up here we're coming near. And we can hang a left at the gravel. This will take us back south, and that will run us near that field that you wanted, I think. Okay. I just had a deer run into the side of my machine. Uh oh, that'll happen. You'll have that on them bigger jobs. Well, he won't do that twice. Oh, here's my turn right here. I think it's, is it this one or is it the next one? Let me double check. It's the next one, sorry. That's okay. some guy's private drive or something. <clears throat> Did you see a sign for this town? I have no idea what this no, town is all here. I've seen is a 45 mile an hour speed limit sign. We ain't gonna do that, no worries here. All right. Now this is the turn at the gas station in the bakery. There we go. Back to some gravel. And a one-lane bridge up here? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Guess we'll see. <laughs> oh, a church. Oh, a cemetery. Oh, a little grass field. I wonder how much that costs. Well, you know, we're going to have to start looking into some hay ground. Yeah. Going to mow hay next to the old cemetery? That's a pretty little cemetery church there, too, and everything. They keep, kind of keep it up, don't they? Mm -hmm. By the way, this bridge is plenty wide. Don't worry about it. It's actually oh, yeah. a neat bridge. Uh, we just won't come this way with the combine. No. <laughs> no, not a good idea. I'm seeing all kinds of pads of ground where there used to be farms. I guess everybody had to up and quit, huh? I guess. No wonder all the land's for sale in this area. Yep. That's all right. Good time for us to grow. Trouble is, is our bank account is looking a little uh, weak up there. Well, if we need to, we can always go talk to the banker about a loan. The good thing is, is we have done everything we've done so far off of our own cash. We've yep. avoided any debt, which is actually pretty miraculous. We've got, you know, 80 acres and two tractors, two tills, a planter, two trucks. We don't have a combine yet We don't, and some other stuff. But still, for no debt, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's not bad at all. All right, we're up here. The rippy dumps, we got that little turn again. Yep. Last time we came in just off of our nose. We're coming in the opposite direction this time. Yep. I remember this now. And then this, this other piece of field, I think you were looking at at one point, this one to the left. Yeah. But then we drove up the road, and you ended up liking this one up here a little better, I think. Yep. I do kind of like this area back here, though. Yeah, it's pretty back here. It is. All right. Here's the... Whoa. Do we need to hit this or not? Hold on. What's going on here? Somebody already farm it for us? Uh, It's just looking better than I anticipated it to look. We still need to make it a seed bed, so we do need to go over it. But it is actually... I didn't, I didn't realize it was... Uh, there's no stocks or anything. This is this. They went through this end of last year. Must have. Must have. But I'm gonna put my tool down and see how it turns up here. It's gonna be kind of hard to tell where we've been. <laughs> well. Uh. Yeah. I mean, we can tell, but it's 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 not. Uh, you gotta keep your eye open. You see the difference? Yeah, barely. Barely. It's it's hard. It ain't easy to see the difference. Hmm. Who knew that this field was going to be a lot harder for us to do? Hmm. You know, part of me is thinking we don't even... <sighs> Maybe you we do. What? Looking at what this... What do you think? I don't think we even need to do this. No? Let's just take a round, a couple of rounds around the outside. And, uh... Around the outside. Around the outside. I mean, it's pretty good as it is, but I am noticing it's really good after we go over it. I do you see that? It's kind of it gets some areas are a little clumpy, before, yeah. and then this this all that I've gone through is you don't even have your tool down. I thought I had it down. I know I had it down. I was watching it. It went down. Folded out. Oh, now it's down. There you go. You know what I did? La I, I did that twice now. <clears throat> so, I clicked that button twice. Oh, <laughs> that's why. So, what are you thinking? You want to just roll through it a pass or two here and see how it goes? Yeah. All right. Might as well. 
Otherwise, I don't know what we would uh we could move forward to getting that seed and oh we we still need to get that uh anhydrous or nitrogen whatever going down on the ground here. Oh, you know what? I guess we could do that beforehand, but we talked about uh just running it on the planter, remember? Okay, Which one would you rather do? We're going to use yeah. the, uh liquid nitrogen and run it through the planter. Yeah, okay. So is there any other prep work you want to do to this field, this land? Let me see if it needs anything. Um, well, I guess I don't know because we don't have soil data on it, really. I can't tell too much. It needs plowed. I can tell you that. They needs suggest plowed. that. Yeah, they, well, just they suggest the, It's. I guess it's a little compacted. I don't know. They suggest it. That's all I know. But it's fine for now. And then I'm trying to think... This was the yeah, this was the border here and then this just rounded back towards them silos and everything. You know, I'm wondering how this got tilled up. Well, I can answer that for you. I think you can. Because we had to set up a new save game cuz the other one busted. Yeah. <laughs> and on this save game, the land happened to be tilled. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it just is what it is. I mean, I could, don't get me wrong, if you want me to change it to that kind of whitish texture, I could t change it and we could go through this, but. No, we're not going to do that. This looks I like kind of feel like we might as well just take the W and consider this good. Yep, I think so. I think we go back to the house and get the uh, planter hooked up. Okay. And look into finding seed and liquid fertilizer. I don't even know what date it is. What date is it? Um, next month, or next, tomorrow it'll be April 1st. Tomorrow will be April 1st? Yep. Ah, eh, we're, we're pretty early to be planting corn, even corn. Right. But we can prep a little bit here for planting corn. Maybe we should go look for a sprayer. Probably wouldn't be a terrible idea. Do you want to just pack up right here next to this drive? We can probably hop that grass. Yeah, I think so. I think okay. this field is good to go. Hope this guy don't get mad at us. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. I don't know if anyone lives there. Maybe they do. Kind of looks boarded up, don't it? It might just be. Um, a pallet of seed is $950, if that gives you any idea. Uh, we need enough for 80 acres, so... Yeah, I don't know how many pallets that is. I'll be honest with you. Well... <coughs> No, I can't remember how many uh, <clears throat> plants per acre we did. We don't do corn that often at home. You know, we do more beans. Yeah. yeah. Well, how about... Mm, man, I don't know. I know there's a thousand liters of seed uh -huh. in in the deal. <laughs> now, how many acres that covers, I don't know. Well, see here... Around here, they call that, there's so many units in a bag. Yeah. And units means there's so many plants, possibles in a bag. Yeah. So, I don't know, I'm, I'm just I'm off the top of my head, I'm just throwing a number out there, 100,000 plants in a bag. And I'm just saying 100,000 right. because I'm pretty sure with beans, it's 130,000. Hey, I wonder if we could squeeze these tools into that. Oh, is that what you're trying to do? Yeah, it looks like they both they will fit into that lean to. Yep, and that's what I just tested. They'll fit. Okay. Just uh, this thing is kind of touchy to back up. Very touchy to back up. You might have to watch the light. I think it's high enough. Uh, yeah, it should be. It should be. I'm on the other side of the light, so I know I'm gonna be fine. Well, if it ain't high enough, we'll have to get somebody to move it. Right. Totally. You know, one of them electrician type guys. Mm. As long as they're certified. <laughs> as long as they're certified. All right. I got mine back in there. Pulling out. Come on out. I'm fixing to pull up there and back in. Okay. Have at her, buddy. You want to put that planter on a tractor? Which tractor? Uh, this one. Okay. Actually, you know what? We could do it with that one. I was Whichever one I, you want to do. Let's put it on that one because uh, for some reason I was thinking we had to have a hydraulics, but we don't. Right? Oh, we're good. We can run it. Yep, we can run it. Well, I tell you what. 
I really didn't do this very well. <laughs> yeah, good luck. <laughs> I know. I feel kind of oh, silly. man. I know. I, I drove up there, too, and I was like, well, wow, that's a bit of a... They really cut that out right there when they built whatever this pad was, didn't they? Mm -hmm. They sure did. Have fun, but it can get back in there. I know it can. I'm a... oh. I don't remember this barn being out there that far. Um, I think I got it in the right-ish spot. You know, we had to redo everything slightly. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure that is, you know, within 1% to 2% of where it sat. I could be wrong. This thing's not easy to back up. No, it's touchy, isn't it? Yeah. It's very it's touchy. It's even worse when you can't really tell where you're going. Is your deal freaking out? Your headset? No, it's good now. Okay. I'm about to switch the planter over to the tractor here. Okay. Pulled your truck around to the side. I got hydraulics hooked up. Four? Yeah, four hydraulics. All hooked. Nothing's there missing. Was, there was four hydraulics? Uh-huh. Well, yeah, I just got one of them on the other side here, but yes. Okay. Yeah, everything seems like it's... Let me check the bins, make sure they're empty here, I guess. Oh, yeah. Looking good. I'm going to shut the tractor off so it ain't running inside. I'm trying to get my tool backed up alongside yours. Yeah, I'm watching. You got room. You're good. And uh, the tool's not taller than the light, so you don't have to worry about that. Oh, I see that. Yep. You're angling towards my tool there. Yeah, I know. I was getting worried about hitting the post. Oh, you're good. You're going to hit the post on your front tire, though, if you're... Yeah. Not careful. Okay. That's just going to have to work right there. Okay. Uh, Detach. Yeah, I know. All right. I'm going to pull this thing out and around. All right. Better turn your wheel sharp. There you go. You're good. You're past. It's a nice barn. It is. Okay. My truck is back in the field by the shop, so if we were running to town or to the shop... Um, we can, we can go there or we can go, uh, to tractor supply in town or some other place. We can see what, what's around. It's up to you. Huh. I'll be right there. I'm going to, I'm going to park this back over there where we put the tools. Okay. But this barn's not in the same place that it was. No? What yeah. do you mean? We used to be able to, what do you I could just about drive around it and now I I'm in the grass. You could drive around it. Yep. You can still drive. Oh. And this end here was not this far down. I'm no, maybe that part, but I don't know what you mean about it's 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 about as close to the tree as it would have been last time. Okay, maybe that side. That maybe I'm remembering wrong about that side. Yeah, but it might be further this way. I don't know. I I might have been a little off. It's. Close. All right. I don't need to hit the safe, though. Nope. I don't need to hit the park brake. All right. We're going to take your truck or my truck and go. My, yeah. Yep. Wherever you want to go get seed, it's up to you. I don't know how many, I don't know how much our planner takes, I guess. But we'll see. Well, we'll just get We need up. a, maybe that's something we should look into. We should see if there's a trailer for sale. A baler? A trailer? Oh, Flatbed that. of some kind? How's the view up there? Well, it was quite A little amazing. breezy? Yeah, a little yeah. breezy up there. All right, Hot Rod. Where are we headed now? Wherever you want to go get seed. Where do you want to get seed? Well, we got to find a seed dealer. Probably best bet in town? Yeah. Okay, let's go to town. See what we can find. Yeah, I'm kind of spoiled right now because... I just tell my seed dealer what, how many acres I've got to plant. He just brings me the seed. <laughs> oh, he does the math for you, huh? He does the math for me. And well, usually, we're going to have to find out this year how much it takes. That way we know for the future. Yeah. And usually, you'd be surprised, but you could be down to the last bag and have just exactly yeah. that much to do. <laughs> so that guy, he that means that guy knows, accurate. He's pretty accurate. Mm-hmm. Sure wish we had a seed guy in here. <laughs> yeah, should have a seed guy. Everybody should have a seed guy. Everyone needs a seed guy. 
Well, you know, the fun thing is, is, and as I, you know this a little bit, but I've played with like my buddies and we all get on and one of the things that we used to do is like I ran a co-op and my other buddy ran an equipment dealer and yeah. so we would all be farmers. We'd have our farms, but then we would also have side businesses that would kind of support and it was it made it a lot of fun that way. Yep. People could come out to the co-op and sell stuff and yeah, it was a good time. Hmm. Run on in here to uh, what is this town? Tahitan. Tahitan in game. Yep. Not Winterset. Tahitan. Not Winterset. It's based off of Winterset more or less, though. So. Okay. I'm not using my blinker. If, hey, if it was me, I would have just drove through this light. So <laughs> you're already I'm, better than I am. I'm going. No, never mind. You're exactly like your son. <laughs> How much those radio towers pay to be on your land? You know what? I don't know. I'm surprised. Sure is. I'm surprised nobody's offered to put a, a radio antenna on top of them silos. Yeah. You know? True. That's true. Those. <laughs> Maybe that's what we should do for Grandma and Grandpa. <laughs> yeah. All right. Here in town, we got to figure out where we're buying our seed. What's this place to the left? What do well, they do? <clears throat> that's what does a, that say? That's a co-op. H&H yeah. co-op. Yeah, they probably got seed. You think they got seed? Oh, I guarantee they do. Yeah, well, let's go. Let's go ask them if they got seed. That must be. Unless you want to try some other place. Is anybody even here? Milling, milling group. That's a. Is that a co-op or are these guys just run grain? I think this is just a grain place. I think this is just a transfer place because there's nobody I, around. Yeah, here. I think you're right. Okay. Well. Let's go figure out what else there might be. I see the equipment dealer had a rough go of it. Go out of business? Must have. They're not there anymore. No, they're gone. Huh. No, one of those one of those we had to set up a new save situations. Yep. Yep. Uh oh well. That's a car dealer. All right. That's not it's quite what we're looking at. That's a courthouse. It's a laundry mat. Mm -hmm. That's a car dealer. That's a taco oh, tacos. Oh. oh tacos. Tacos. Dang it. Tractor supply. That might that might have to do. <laughs> it might have to do. It might have to do. Casey's cheeseburgers. <laughs> I could go for a Casey's cheeseburger. I could go for anything. Well, let's talk to tractor supply, I guess. All what right. do you say? Yep. Hey. Wow. What? Oh, I almost wiped out. Oh, you're good. Big old parking lot here. We got all kinds of room to park. Well, I'm taking the end. All right. Or I thought I was going to take the end. I'm taking the end anyway. I'll pull it up in the grass. It'll be all if right. If I fits, I sits. That's right. All right. Let's okay. go talk to these boys. Excuse me. We're here to buy seed and perhaps some other little trinkets. Yep. Okay. Wow. They're, Liquid uh, fertilizers, $3,200. Woo. Yes, it is. Okay. Top liquefied fertilizer. Uh huh. Uh huh. Pioneer seeds, nine hundred and fifty for a pallet of that. I like go uh, pioneer seeds. Oh, well, then that's what you're gonna go with. There's well, your seeds. I think we're just gonna have to go with it because that's our only choices. Yep, that's your choice. I'm gonna double click that. Information. It says one a thousand fifty liters. Base price yeah. nine hundred and fifty dollars. Total price nine hundred and fifty dollars. How many acres does it do, people? I don't know. I don't know either. I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, four, five, six on each row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven times six is forty two. Right? I don't know, probably sir. Forty two bags. On a pallet. Uh, I like Pioneer. Let's buy it. All right. Buying it. How many do you want? Uh, we better get we better get two pallets of that. We can always bring it back. Okay. Two pallets. We purchased. Is there anything else you want to get here at Tractor Supply? Uh, not really, but okay. I'll go back and take a look at some other stuff. I would like to. Maybe we should just go ahead and get some liquid fertilizer so that it's yeah. ready. We can either buy okay. the totes that's already mixed or right. 
we can buy the the bags that we have to mix ourselves. Well, uh, yes, that That's is ninety six hundred dollars for the mm-hmm. kind you have to mix yourself. Yeah, but that the tote holds two thousand liters. Yeah. Okay? okay, and that bag is six thousand liters. Right. Well, I don't think we need 6,000 liter, liters. I have no idea. guess we'll see. I think we need to... How are we going to get all this stuff home? That's what I was saying. I think we need a trailer. I think we do. <laughs> I think we need a trailer because you're wanting to put two pallets of seed. You can fit like a pallet of seed back here. Oh. <clears throat> you can tailgate down. We could get two of them probably. But I don't know about the fertilizer. Uh, I think we better come back for the fertilizer when we okay. got a trailer. We we'll probably need yeah. a trailer to set it on anyway and take it out to the field. Yeah. You know that? Probably. I mean, it would make things a lot easier. It would. It would. Let's see what our options may be. Uh, see what I can find. Mm. And then in here, you can find some goosenecks and PJs. There's an $8,000 one um, right there. There's an $8,000 one right there. It's nice. And you can customize these in length and all kinds of stuff, too. Yeah. So, I see, really, you got two options there. Yep, 20 foot. Unless you want a semi one. <clears throat> Not right. We need one for the pickup. Right. I mean, we don't need a semi trailer to do these kind of jobs. Uh, 20,000 or 8,000 for a 20 foot gooseneck? Well, I ain't no Well, way. yeah, and then we can customize a lot of things. Like I can make it bigger. I can 20, 30, 40, 50 feet. You know, I can this one. Fifty foot gooseneck transport trailer. Eight thousand. Well, yeah, it starts out at twenty foot and then I can make it fifty foot or I can do thirty, forty, you know. Mm-hmm. So essentially I want you to pick between either that black one or the uh, or- orange one. The it. orange one isn't actually orange, by the way. We can color these so it's also black. Yeah. All right, I went into the black one. What's the difference? No difference. That one is the twenty foot. Um, I don't think I can make this one longer. No, this one's stuck at twenty foot, and that other one I can go longer. I wonder why that is. Oh, that's it's just the way the mod was made. Well, that's a little short guy there. I can also make it a bumper pole instead of a gooseneck. Um, <clears throat> Stretch this one out a little bit. The fifty foot, the yeah, one that one, said fifty. The one. Okay, yeah. I can do twenty foot. 30 foot, 40 foot, 50 foot. Oh, uh, that's price of that 30 foot. They're the same price. What do you mean? I know. Your distance ain't going to change the price. Uh, just go Just go with it. I don't want anything bigger than 30 foot. Okay. 30 foot's Do you want um, any extension? Okay, let's see. Do you want any side rails, log poles, or extensions? Nope. You want it to be a gooseneck, not a bumper pole, yeah? Do you want it to be uh, the wooden base design, or would you like one of the metal options? Uh, wooden, because things slide around on metal too much. Okay. Do you want <clears throat> mud guards? You were talking about the floor, weren't you? Yes. Yeah, I want wood because we don't want stuff sliding around. Yes, right. mud guards. Do you want? Okay. On the just the back of the trailer wheels or the, both the front and the back of the trailer wheels? Uh, let's do both. Okay. They're not that much. They can't be that much. The tail of the trailer, do you want it to be the flat deck where it's just like a regular bump up, there's no ramps? Do you want the ramps? Do well, you we, want a dovetail? We need the ramps. Okay. Um, Let me see here. Okay. The wheel position, your your tandems, okay? Right. Forward, back, three, axle, spread axle. Which one? Forward, back, three axle, or spread axle? We want it <clears throat> back. Okay. And we just want uh, two axle. Yep. And we do not want them spread. Got it. Okay. So as that is a standard trailer, not a nurse trailer or anything like that, mm-hmm. this comes out to eleven thousand seven hundred dollars. Well, go ahead and buy it. Oh wow, they have it at Tractor Supply. How convenient! I'll be darned. 
Now we can go back and get some liquid fertilizer. Yeah, with our 89,851 remaining dollars? Yes, we can. We're going to get at least one tote. Okay. You want a, a tote? Do you want Corteva or Helm? Uh, Same on. price. I'm back. I'm Same amount. Back. Yeah, I know. Pallets. Now, what did you say? Corteva? Or Helm, the two brands. Yeah. I same amount, brands. same price. Let's go with it. Corteva. Corteva liquid fertilizer? Yep. yep. Okay, $3,200 for that tote. All right. We are down to $86,500 after our visit to Tractor Supply. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> and over here, if you want to walk or grab the truck and bring it this way, we've got our trailer and our other stuff that needs loaded up. Tractor. i got to talk to these boys about getting a forklift real quick, okay? Yep, Tractor Supply had a good day today. They did. They made a lot of money. They had themselves a good day. All right, Ian, what did you do with that? Uh... Oh, okay. Because I'm going to have to back up. Ah. All right. We are loaded up and ready to get this stuff back to the farm. Get it into the, well, we don't need it in the planner yet, I guess. <laughs> no. Early for that. We're just trying to get ahead of the game here and have it ready to go when the weather says go and the date says go. Well, I'll tell you what. If that's the case and we are ready to be planting, how about we get this up to the farm and next thing we do we get into the field to plant in april i think that's what we'll do all right i'll tell you what this weather has been so good we just will go ahead and plant this is our road yes right up there is our road well i tell you what when you let off the gas in this thing it slows down fast yes it does especially when it's got weight on it believe it or not boy. that is weird almost uh Slows down well, almost too fast. Well, I think I have to go do the real chores. Yep, you do. And I don't even want to go outside. It's too cold. Uh -huh. I hate well, cold. When you get back from real chores, if you want to continue, we can move on to April and plant. Oh, yeah, we might do that. All right. Pickle. Hello. Pickle. Why are you ignoring me, Pickle. Pickle. Hello. Huh. Oh, looks like we got rain might be coming this way. This is a cool barn. I'm going to have to do a little dirt work right here. I need to extend this on out to here. So that berm is going to have to go back. There is a road right there. So what we're going to do about that. I'm not really particularly thrilled with where these are set. I don't know why they set them there, but whatever. I guess it's for practical purposes. That's probably good. We've certainly uh, bought some pretty nice equipment. Both of these tools here do a fantastic job of working the ground. Well, hello. Hey, sorry. I was, uh, I was being held ransom by a cat. No biggie. Oh. Well, I was over there tapping on your shoulder saying, Pickle, Pickle, are you all right, Pickle? <laughs> yeah, I uh, just playing with the kitties in my head. You know how it is. I'm ready to go put some plants in the ground so we can make money. We sure. spent a lot. It's about time we get to a point where we're going to be at least making money. So this is the field you wanted to hit first. Where do you want to go? Backside first or? Uh, no, right here. You want to start right here. Well... I have to figure out some place that I can put the the truck, trailer, seed, and fertilizer. Is there room right. up along them trees on that grass strip for me to pull in there? No. No? No. I mean, down on the bottom side, there's that grass piece. Yeah. Um, uh, you're going to be in the field anywhere around this entrance. Yeah, but I'm also going to be on the other side of the railroad tracks if I go in the other one. Right? Uh, well, yeah. Yeah. There's so, room kind of around the pond-ish, but I don't know. That's not really... Let me, let me just ease in here. And, yeah, you got a line of cars behind you. <laughs> yeah, I got a line of cars behind me. And then just go over to that grass strip yonder. I'll follow you. 
the grass strip yonder. Okay. Yeah, yonder. Sounds like we're going on a uh, on a Lord of the Rings kind of quest. Yep. I hate to make tracks like this in my nicely huh. tilled field, but it yeah. is what it is. Well, there's no other way around. There's no grass buffer. There's nothing. No. Which, in the future, if you wanted to just add a grass strip or two right along this tree line, that wouldn't be a bad idea, I guess. But that's up to you. This spot, well, it's up to you. I'll just park here and I think we can. You go where you want. I think we can fill the planter right here. I think you're right. I think you can just back up to the trailer, and uh, I'm gonna jump out. Okay. I think I'm yeah, out of the field. Be, yeah. No, this will this will work really easy. I'll just back right up there and stand on the trailer. We'll pull the tops off and dump the seed right on in. Okay. <clears throat> I'll be right there to watch. Okay. Uh, let me get up here on the trailer and see. Yeah, that should be good enough. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's get to loading them bale or them them the bags in. You ready? Yep. All right. Watch this super speed. All right. That's all the bags it took to fill this thing up. Look here. We got seed in the in the bins. Hop up on the trailer if you uh how, space how bar will let you jump. How many uh bags do you think you uh you used? Uh, wow. Uh, well we could count there. Uh, okay. We used a whole six and then we used what would that be? Seven, eight, maybe nine bags. Mm -hmm. Nine bags. Roughly, I think. Well, okay. That's, that's funny ballpark. how we got them bags out of there without unstrapping it, but that's all right. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Better? <Sweet relic. laughs> all right. Hey, that's all filled in. I think we're uh, probably ready to go. We got fertilizer. You got your, uh, you got your seed in there. Your marker arm should be good to go. Okay. Do you want to give it a try? I suppose I'll give it a run and... See what's going on. Okay, uh, go ahead. Pull it forward and we'll see how it goes. You might have to, we might have to jump off, you know, old school and count the seeds per foot. <laughs> yeah, of course. You know how I am. Okay. I think you should be set to corn. Do you see the corn icon kind of bottom right-ish? Bottom right-ish, 360 liters, 100% corn. Okay, so you are... You are you got corn. Good. We're set um, to corn. Nitrogen liquid fertilizer application. Two hundred. That should be right. set to automatic. Yeah. Uh, so what will happen is you go out in the field and it should automatically adapt. We don't have our soil information, so I don't know how it will handle. We'll see. Yeah. Um, we may have to go manual, and we may have to just whatever application rate you'd want to do. Okay. Um, your marker arms know. should work. There's a control button for that. If you hit display on your button box, it'll bring up your control list. So you can see what I'm telling you to control here. All right. Well, right now, I'm going to set this thing down and see which arm goes down. Okay. Set her down. Okay. Neither. We're gonna have to, you're going to have to click a button to, to engage them, to unlock them, essentially. They're locked, right? Yep. <clears throat> uh, display. Cruise control, select camera, open cover, lift cover, higher. I don't know. It doesn't say okay. anything about So you've lowered it down. Now we need to turn it on. That's going to be essentially the same as your PTO. So remember what you set that to? Oh, uh, yep. Differential. Okay. Lock, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Go ahead and give that a flick. You're good to go. Let me try and see. Is this the marker arm? Okay, yes. Uh, I don't know what that will be any other control so i'm going to tell you what it is on keyboard z z z will switch between your marker arms okay all right all right so that's really all you need to know you're set you're planting now all you have to do is worry about picking it up and pick putting it down right yeah well we hope so. and your marker arms we hope so <clears throat> we hope so all right do i if have you... uh, let's see z okay so on the map in the bottom left, you should now see when you start planting, you should be able to see like a colored graph of like your seed application rate and stuff like that. Well, it's all and red. You, and or you, I'm okay, correct, sir. Yeah, you might actually be seeing your pH value. That's what your nitrogen 
or you're, you're uh, not, you're, you know what I'm trying to say. You might be seeing some of those. I don't know which one your monitor is set to. But anyways, you get all that, that data from the planter and stuff. Yeah. You should be ready to go. It's high you pull tech, forward a little bit, saying. we'll see. Well, some of it. Uh, planter's old school, but we got some high tech stuff going on. Yeah. Okay. Go well, ahead. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to plant a little bit here. Yeah. You try to get some crop in the ground here. I'll walk behind, make sure it's planting, looking good. I need to do a couple rounds. Am I getting a marker? My marker good? Yeah, your marker's going in just fine. Okay. You're good. If you do need to pick it up and or change, you know, when you press it, it'll change it or whatever. It's Z. Remember that. Yep. Um, so it don't come up you, automatically when you hit the... No, it, it, it should do that as well, most likely. But I'm just saying your manual control. You have manual control, too. Yep. All right. He's planting his first field. Hey. Don't mind the two rows he's leaving on the outside. Oh, I knew you. <laughs> That's what I was just going to ask you. Am I getting close enough to the outside? No, you're a good two rows there. Down to a row. Okay. And, and in line. All right. That's what I needed. Now yeah. I have a gauge. Yeah. Yep. Now you're good. That's looking pretty, pretty decent. You're planting this uh, very end row just right on the edge of the grass at the moment, to be honest. Okay. But you're, yep, there you go. Perfect. Right there. Looks pretty good. That's beautiful. We're gonna I'm plant walking it. back. Go ahead. We're going to plant at five miles an hour, maybe six. Okay. Which is a lot oh. faster than I plant in real life. Because you know you. I'm not very high tech <laughs> in real life. Yeah. Nope. Although I gotta admit that new planter we have, you can roll along pretty good with it, and it keeps up. Mm. You know, I've talked to you about using GPS before in real life, and we've talked about like those ag leader systems you can put on them, and yep, and stuff. Uh, maybe we'll uh, at some point get your GPS set up in here. You can fiddle around with it, try it out, and see what you think. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not opposed to the GPS. In fact, Pat was just talking about it the other day, about putting yeah. GPS on the 8300. I know uh, I know Grant likes to have it. He has it on his 80, what does he have, an 81 or 8200? Yeah. It's funny, he, uh, he has the same combine that we have, too. It's, when he started his farm, he bought essentially the same stuff we got. <laughs> oh, he did? Yeah, he's got the same combine. He's got a little brother of our 8300. Um, he has a planner that I, I'm pretty sure the planner is fairly similar to the one you guys have too. Huh. Uh, so yeah, it's very funny. Our planner is a 1760 NT, isn't it? Yep, that is correct. And I don't know what Grant says, but I can tell you that everything's growing, everything's planting, it's corn looking good. You know what this means, don't you? What does this mean? Well, now we're going to have to buy more land to get another tr planter so you can plant too. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, honestly. I mean, we're at $86,000 and we might need to talk to the bank about it. But this planter here, we can get another one for $10,300, I think is what we spent on it. Yeah. Right? We're going to do a little over plant here, but that's all right. Don't panic. You'll, you'll be fine. So I'm checking your, uh, I got the mobile app here go on my phone and checking your nitrogen levels and you're doing good you're putting down let me find it let me see what you're buying i don't know what you're aim all right you're dropping 200 kg per hectare acre and uh, don't ask me to convert it because i'm too lazy okay yeah <laughs> i really are the markers in the grass go down I wanted there it you to go stay up. Whoa, you're son. learning I gotta turn around. So we Oops, got you. Man. You know what? My other truck was around here with fuel. You don't need any fuel or anything, do you? No, I'm green. Okay. Green on the fuel. Should I walk over to the other side of the field and grab my truck and bring it over here? Or do you think it's fine over there? It's probably gonna be fine over there because by the time you need fuel, you'll be that way. Where's your truck at? It's over at the house. Oh, just... Is it? Is it? I thought we left it at the store. We picked up tractors and never got my truck again, did we? Oh, I think we did leave it at the store. 
<laughs> it's fine. We do a lot of business there. Well, you go ahead and go get it. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm going to try to get these outer rows done. Mm hmm. I'm going to get my walk in, I guess. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, I just hit the wrong button. Mm. Escape. Escape. Nope, that didn't work. <sighs> Somehow I got myself inside the recording box. I don't know how I did that. Okay, so you did control escape is what you did instead of escape. No. Um, I was... So you're going to... No. I hit well, shift. So you're... I hit shift. Oh. Well, okay, so what you're saying is you're not in the game anymore. You're seeing OBS, the, I am, the recorder. I can see the tracker. I can see the game, but I'm inside the recording box. Right. So you need to click on the, the task bar in the bottom, the little red icon. Click that to get back in the game. What you did is tabbed out of the game into the All recorder. Right. Okay. I just didn't want to hit yep. the wrong button. Yep. Hey, good news. I almost got the fuel truck over here. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little steep pulling it up that uh, side of the dam, though. <laughs> these uh, these arms are very stubborn. Yeah. Well, you know, you press it, one goes down, press it, the other one goes down, press it, they both stay up. Yep. I know you said you think we needed another uh, for liquid fertilizer. Did you want me to be going in town and getting that? No, I don't think While so. I, I think we've got plenty. Okay. After we started adding up to the numbers. Well, the nice thing is we will have the data on this field of how much we put into it now that we are doing the field ourselves. Yep. So I can click here and see so far we've put in 155, 159, sorry, just updated, liters of fertilizer. Yep. Um, we've gone through 135 liters of seed, right? You've used 3.1 liters of fuel. So I can see all of this data per field so we can see all of our cost and, and, and profit, you know, stuff. Very cool. Is that from that $29,050 we spent on that high-tech stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's pretty cool stuff then. It is. It is pretty cool it stuff. You all that which, information. Yeah, I know. But we're going to have to... Uh, we're going to have to actually purchase it for our other field if we want it, which will end up costing $22,750. <laughs> for the other field? For the other field, yeah. yeah. These people just like to take you to the woodshed, don't they? Yeah, but once we have it, I think we have it at least for a while. Yeah. It's old school. Keep that decal right on that line. About as close as you can, anyway. Looks like you're getting the hang of it. Got yourself on your marker arm. It's got you lined up perfectly. Yeah. You're doing some nice down and backs, mindful of the hill. It's looking good. I'm wondering. We will if, also. Go ahead. I'm wondering if two rounds is going to be enough to give me room to turn around. Mm, I don't know. It should be just about enough. It might be slightly tight. I don't think that. Does that planter turn well? I thought it was a little bit of a wide turn and. If I remember oh, it, correctly, it but I could be wrong. Right. Okay. Can you see my marker arm? Uh-huh. Is it coming up? They're both up. Both up. Left one down. You just dropped the... Oh. Now the right one's down. Now they're both up. Good. i got to fix this little B right here. Okay. And the planter should be coming up. Yep. It's up. I'll see if I can get it turned around here. Yeah. I like planting with that little tractor. Huh? Do you like planting with that littler tractor than instead of the 8110? Yeah, because it's easier. It's more maneuverable. Yeah. Now, high tech would say not to drop it in the in the rows that you've already planted, but uh, that's how I do it, so whatever. Seems fine by me. The only thing I don't like to do is drop my... I don't like dropping my marker in there because it tears up the seed, but... You did do that, though. Yes, I am not. I was, had a feeling that was going to happen. <laughs> you did do that. <laughs> but I, everything looks like it's coming together pretty good. The only thing I'm a little worried about is our pH values coming in a little under. Is it? Yeah. But nitrogen's doing good. 
It's not going to take very long to plant this little piece. No. No, that little piece won't take you long at all. It's only a few acres, really. All right, you, you stay up there. My goodness. Whoa. That's, oh, that's uh, not a lot of power. It was kind of neat looking, though. I uh, got bored sitting here in the truck. I started looking at the used equipment market. Yeah. There's some tractors in here. One is an old Case 46 series for $8,400. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, it's 80. It's like got like 80 something horsepower. 85. <laughs> Not very big. There's another little John Deere in here. A little 6030 four yeah. cylinder. Little guy. They want uh, 29,700 for that. Really? Yeah. Got a Mac Anthem. Kind of expensive. I thought so. Got a John Deere front loader, 603R. I don't know what that fits on. Was that, would that, would that fit on ours? Mm. A New Holland T6. What's the horsepower on that? 125 horsepower? Looks like it has a buddy seat. <laughs> they want $54,000 for that one. There's a combine. Case, axle flow, axial flow, uh, 7150. Yeah. Yeah, but they want about 141, 143, somewhere around there, 1,000. Huh. That's about everything on the used equipment. Unless you like a weeder. You want a weeder? A weeder? Yeah, a little weeder. You know, it's like a little, kind of like a light harrow, drags over the uh, ground, pulls the the budding weeds out of the ground and um instead of using like a sprayer yeah uh, didn't we try one of them one time in real life or in yeah um yeah you did kind of remember you the had 54 a... hundred dollar experiment yeah that did not work it did not and then we got lucky and sold it for fifty four hundred dollars mm -hmm. well i'll tell you this this one also plants grass, oil seed, and canola. Really? I guess. I did some serious overplanting in that last round there. Oh, did you now? That's life in the fast lane, right? You know, you remember that piece of land right next to us, that big old piece of land that was for sale? They wanted like $980,000 for it. Yeah, what do they want for it today? Yeah, go ahead and guess. Did they drop it? They want one point one million. One million one hundred and thirty eight thousand dollars. Well you know why that is, don't you? Why? They saw us move into the neighborhood and figured <laughs> ah Ah they bought some land around here. We got a fish on the hook. Uh, we'll just up the price. That'll get get 'em. Ain't gonna get me. <laughs> Oh, that could be... How many... Oh, that's not very big, is it? It's kind of cool. I can see in the left-hand corner mm -hmm. where I've planted. Yeah, because you can see it off from your GPS, essentially. Yeah. Well, you don't have a GPS, but you know what I mean, from the data that we're getting yeah. from that smart stuff. Takes a little getting used to, but I'm getting there. So, depending on which number you believe... Either the uh, field info from Giants or the uh, acre count from that mod I added, which something tells me the acre count mod is not right, but we'll see. Um, there's a piece of land along that highway that we own here, just right near where we're working right now, and uh, it's either 11 acres or it's 25 acres. Depends which number you believe. And they want two hundred and fifty four thousand six hundred and seventy six dollars for it. Uh huh. <laughs> are you saying we should buy some more land? No, I'm just letting you know where things are setting. Here's a place up here they got for one hundred ninety five thousand. Oh, 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 how many acres is that? Wait a minute. Wow, almost another thirty eight acres. Thirty eight acres or so for. 309,000. Uh-huh. I don't know if we have automatic row show up, shut off or not. <laughs> Do you? Um, you'll be fine. 
Yeah. Little over plant never hurt nobody. That's the way we did He'll it back in the old right. days. Making good progress. You need me to go do anything? I can go pick something up. How you how you looking? Uh, I was thinking about anything you getting plant empty for a little while here. Oh. You want to plant? Well, I mean, I can. What are you going to go do? I got to go take care of something in the kitchen. Okay. Although I am getting really good at this. That's good to hear. No. Go down. <laughs> there you go. You know, sometimes I got to get quit trying to hit that button twice. Yeah. You dropped your left arm. I should have left that up. What the hell? <laughs> That's all right. What the heck? Pardon my French. I kind of like our little GPS guy, dude down there. Yeah, I know. Now just wait until you can uh, actually set up the GPS and you can get to the you know, the way you're going to, you turned around, you're ready to go straight, and you just go, boop. It just goes straight, and you get to the end, you turn it off, it goes, boop. Boop. Really? Yep. You just turn it back on. When you get turned back around, boop. Oh, the technology. I know. Too much to bear. Oh, crazy old arm. Oh, you dropped the other arm down. Yep. That's why we got to do this twice. I don't have any choice. Yeah. Crazy old planner. There we go. Jake. Uh-huh. Jump on in here and finish this field for me. You betcha. I got to take care of something. I'll get her lined up for you. All right. Beep, beep. <laughs> He's my GPS. <laughs> Just finish this little piece for today. Okay. You know how to run everything. Oh, yeah. Do you need, I'll be good. Do you need to teach you how to run everything? No, I got it. All right. Don't run me over. I'm just going to hang around over here by the by the trees. All right. You enjoy your time with the trees. And I'll turn around so I can watch you and keep my eye on you. Uh-huh. I'm sure. Oh, I missed a spot. Oh, well. Yeah. That happens. Good luck. Thank you. I'll be right back. All right. Good luck with whatever you got going on. I'm going to do what a pickle's got to do and get this field done. And he said five or six. I'm going to take it at nine. I'm a real risk taker. <laughs> all right. So we got this very first little piece here of all of our land. Just like a few acres out of the total that we have to do, Don. Well, we're just that was a good little test. We're just practicing. Yeah. And we do know now that we're down to, uh, well, I had to fill this thing once. And now I'm down to 48% on it again. So it took a tank and a half, or a planter and a half full to do this. And then it did take just about a full deal of fertilizer. It took uh, all, all but 67 gallons. And I can't remember how many gallons we had in this thing. Um, well, one second. I can tell you how many we put on this piece. Uh, we put 573 liters on this. I don't know what that comes to in gallons. But this, but... Tote, this tote was 3,000 and some, wasn't it? Liters, yeah, or or a it's like two thousand liters, I think. Two thousand. Yeah, or maybe it is three. You might be right. I have enough to just about do this piece. It's two. It comes with two thousand liters, and we used five hundred and seventy-three. I think I said. Do you want to put seed into this again, or do we want to just wait until the next time we plant? Uh, we're gonna wait because I've got some things I gotta do. All right. We're gonna hold up on the farming deal right now. Okay. 